Alright, see you later. What's up, YouTube? It is day three, part four of the Muskoka Madness series. It's a great looking day out today. Went back to the same spot as yesterday since we put on an absolute clinic on Lakers. The fish are biting. Beach eagles are chirping. Let's get at it. Oh my god, boys. What the heck is this? Tommy! That's another oh big one. That's bigger. That's huge. He's already ready to go. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fired up, boys. Let's get another one. Oh, mine just went down. My tip up. Tip ups down, boys. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think. Doesn't feel very big if it's on. Might have lost it. There's my. Yeah. Oh, no. oh my god. So I'm not crazy. I did have a fish. Just a stupid rainbow smelt. Oh my. Yeah, that's a laker. Oh my goodness, guys, guys. I was literally just setting this back down and I got a fish on the drop. This is nuts. I've never had that happen on a tip up. No, I just turned it on. But I literally just went to pull up to uh to put it to put it on the thing and I had a fish. Oh, he's going for a little run there. I haven't landed a laker on a tip up right. in years, so I. Only eight monos, yeah, I know. I haven't landed a laker on a tip up. Oh, there he is. He's at the hole. Oh, that's not a bad little one. Nice guy. On the high minnow. Wait, wait, no, oh, oh. Here we nice. Go. Boys, clean looking one to start the day. Oh. He's got both. He's got both. Guys, look inside there. I don't know if you can see. I have tandem rig. He's got both minnows inside. All right, guys, well, I've never had that happen. This fish literally destroyed both minnows I had going. They were about two feet apart. He hit them both on the drop. Both hooks were just absolutely inhaled. Got both out. We're gonna see if we can get them back here. There he goes. Back down to the depths. That is just absolutely insane. I've never had anything like that happen before. It's a great start to the day and I'm definitely gonna get my minnows back down there, see if we can get another one. You on? You think it's a smelt? I'll come here. Tommy's hooked up with something small. Maybe she's a whitey, bud. Oh, no, that's a laker. Another little one about the same size. He got janked on the outside of his face. He hit the back, eh? The back hook's in the he mouth? He hit the tail. Oh, no, he just... No, Tommy's a little, little bit of a snagger. <laughs> just kidding. No. He hit it. Nice snag. When this happens, sometimes they're swooping at it, and they just might miss it, and then on the upstroke, you might just catch him underneath. So if you guys ever catch one just underneath the lip, that's probably what happened. So I caught this one suspended probably halfway up the column. I'm in about 68 feet. Probably got him in like 40, 35. Reeled him up probably to about 20 feet off bottom. And this is what you get. It's not bad. Nice right, so little one go back down. Second of the day already. Nice bud. Give me a bump. <laughs> All right. A little bit of a bite today. I think there's a laker right there. Dude, that's a good mark. That's a laker. I think I might actually have a rainbow smelt on. I don't know, he might have just hit it. Got something. Yeah. 
I don't think it's a rainbow smelt, actually. I don't know. It could. It probably is. Oh, that's a whitey. Yo. There you go, bud. Oh, my goodness. First ever whitefish on this lake in Muskoka. Almost gave it away there, guys. You almost got lucky. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, first whitefish up here at Muskoka. He absolutely choked the minnow. I was kind of just playing around with my tip up. About to uh, pull it up a little bit, and this guy just inhaled that minnow. He got hooked pretty deep, so... We unfortunately got to keep him or else he probably wouldn't survive under there. But that's awesome. I'm excited. Woo! Let's give him a nice kiss. Yo, I got something on here. Are you kidding me? You filming? That was literally just dead sticked, <laughs> and I had something on there, man. Your rod wasn't even bent over, eh? No, it wasn't. That's hilarious. What is this? Trap? No, this is the micro tube. Oh wow. Dead sticked. You had to have filming the whole time too. Yep, right? I literally just walked back. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's doing circles. Yeah, yeah it's a laker. Wow. It's not a bad one. Oh, that's a better one for sure. One sec. Get right in the snout, too. Get him in the gills. Yep, yep. Never mind. There that's we go. A run for sure. Guys, you saw, I have not stopped filming. I walked back just now, just coming to check my rod, and I had a micro tube dead stick down there. Lifted up, and this guy was on. My rod wasn't even bending. That's insane. Absolutely he is a ridiculous. Alright, let's get him back down. There you go, Dude, bud. Release. Nice one. That's hardy. I've already husk out. What's that? You got two Lakers, a whitey. Two Lakers and I've a whitey. Got a lighter. And you've got a Laker. Laker. I don't even know if it's noon yet, guys. We're we're killing it so far. I'm juiced. What I was trying to say before that Laker rudely interrupted me. It's just gonna get back here. If anyone's been keeping track in the Muskoka Madness series, that closes off the Muskoka Grand Slam, Laker Burbot Whitefish. Hey Tommy, you stoked? So stoked. Let's keep getting on them, boys. Tommy's hooked up. What's up? It's a nice one, bud. There's another one. Where's another one following him up? Yeah, I don't see him now. Right in the snow. Oh, you're just... Right, just give him a quick dip. Yeah, nice, another nice uh, northern Muskoka. Average Lake. size. Average size. All beautiful. About, but they're all gorgeous. Holy crap, look at them. Oh, let's get them back in the water. Whew. Nice, bud. Here we go. <laughs> There he is. Oh. oh my god, dude. Guys, I haven't stopped recording. Tommy literally yelled over and he said, bring a rod. Because he was marking another one following up his fish. I just got down to the bottom and this fish crushed it too. Insane. Pretty close to a double header. Insane. Might be hard to get his head in the hole. Oh, no, not unless he jumps right out for us. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Buddy, thank you. No that was real close to a double header. Guys, you see this, this is absolutely nuts. Muskoka, mayhem, lake trout, whitefish, burbot. It's all here on the Blairfish Project. <laughs> Let's get them back down. There he goes. Tommy's already marking another one. We're not even gonna stop the roll of the footage here. We're just gonna keep this footage going. See if we can get three back to back to back. Warning, graphic content. We just filleted the whitefish, and look at what we found inside the stomach. It's matching the hatch. It's exactly what we got them on on the tip-up minnows, so that's what they're feeding on down there. 
tonight we're eating fish fry. Catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, hello, didn't see you there. Welcome back to the fourth and final day of the Muskoka Madness series. Today is our last chance to get that 10 plus pound Muskoka Laker. We're really hoping we get one today. Conditions are a little cold, but it's sunny, coming off a cold front. Let's get after him. Oh, there's one. Tip up just shot down. Yeah, dude, did you not hear it? Oh, that's tight, that's tight. That's a layout, yep, yep. The knot got stuck on here. I need you to pull the knot off. The knot got stuck on there. I like it, I'm surprised it didn't snap, cause like. It's tight, eh? Yeah, this feels like a better one. He was taking a good little run there. It might be a five, I don't know. He's got weight. I don't know. Yeah, this is not your typical three pounder. Oh, that's a big, big laker, big one. laker. Not bad, that's bud. A good one. Look at how fat he is. Oh yeah. Dark one too. There we go, guys. On the tip up, just fired that down. That's a good, good five, five and a half pounder all day again. Look at that. Just an absolute brute. On the tip up, doesn't really get better than that. goes. Boys, that did not take long. That was about maybe 20 minutes of sitting here and my tip up just absolutely hammered down. Like, I don't know how the line didn't snap on that one. That one's a good one. My hands are freezing. It's really cold out today. Take your phone back. Oh, I gotta warm up. Oh my God. Guys, I'm literally just dealing with my tip up. Tommy's is down. Oh, yep. Tommy's on. Woo. We just can't get our hands dry today, man. This has been back to back here. Is he feeling not bad or are you just letting him run? No, maybe he's not that's bad taking a good run. Oh, that's big. Dude, that's big. Oh, that's another yeah. big one. That's bigger. That's huge. That's a six, seven, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's I might go seven. Guys, that's thick. That was not five minutes after that one. Holy nice, dark Muskoka Laker. It's Look at that. Beauty, holy crap. The boys are buzzing today. I'm gonna wanna picture this one, that's for sure. Yep. I'll snap some quick picks. Back in the water. Let's get them back in, guys. Another one straight back down. But, woo, boys are buzzing today. Tip ups are on fire, holy. Well guys, this officially wraps up the Muskoka Madness Last Ice series. I had a really fun time filming and editing this. Almost as much fun as I had fishing it. Uh, just to kind of sum up, I mean, in the past four days between me, Tommy, and my buddy Adam, we must have landed. I think I tallied about 19 Lakers Easily over 20 burbot and one whitefish. So that's probably one of the best days or weekends I've had on the ice ever. Um, Fire weekend, we crushed them. Crushed them, bud. Give me some. This is me and Tommy signing out from the 2018 ice season in Muskoka Madness series. Catch you guys next time.